Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn about how to interface a keypad that is the 4 cross 4 keypad with the AT51 microcontroller. The platform we are using is the Proteus 8 Professional. So first we need to click on new project. Let's wait until it used to open. Okay, now we need to write the name of the project. So we will just write any name of our own choice that is LCD triple eight. Okay, now we need to press finish. Then, okay, now first we will go to library and take our 89C51 microcontroller. You can use R8051 or even ATC51 or any other microcontroller of the same series. All are the mutual compatible. So we can use any of these microcontrollers. Okay, now after we have taken our microcontroller, we need to take 4 cross 4 and uh, keypad. So, or we can write just keypad and we will get around 4 1, but we will take keypad small calculator, okay, because it is 4 cross 4. After it, we need to take common cathode 7 segment. So, we can take like a blue green or like red okay we will take red one okay so this is our seven segment display now after it how we are supposed to join them our keypad is connected with the port number three while the seven segment is connected with the port number one so for it uh, one method is to draw the connection line like this okay but we are not going to do it because it can be a bit difficult for us so we will use the uh, labels so these are our four labels okay so We, we can rotate it as anti clockwise, okay. And why we are using all these uh, because we don't want to, we don't want to make a lot of lines like these, okay. These connection lines, so or they are also called as the traces, okay. Traces are connection lines, so. So copy to clipboard and paste from clipboard and we Okay now we need to join them out Okay now we will write here as A With the second we will write B With the third we will write C And with the fourth we will write D and here we will write 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, now our connections or labels with the 4 cross 4 keypad are completed. So we will now we will connect all this with the port number 3. So we will copy to clipboard and we will paste from clipboard. So paste from clipboard. Okay, now we will join all these.
so we will write a p c d and here one two three and four a uh, level 4 is considered as connected with the level 4 and like level D is connected with level D and A is connected with A. So, you should have to write the same names. Okay, so now after it we need to join our 7 segment display with the microcontroller so okay now now we will join it and we will write here as a then bb then cc dd you can write some other names okay just the same uh, just the name on two level must be same which will ensure its connectivity okay and what about its uh, common cathode terminal we need to attach ground with it so a a b b c c d d e f f and g g so here we need to write okay because seven segment display is having just seven components so we will just need seven pins of port one so here we will okay you need to write it pin 1.7 as a it's seven it must be bb it must be cc and it must be dd E, e F F and G G. So this is our complete uh, connection diagram and complete circuit. Okay. Uh, you don't need to connect any sort of crystal oscillator because uh, we are not uh, going to have any sort of like uh, concern with the operating frequency. So it will work uh, uh, fine. So after this is completed, we need to go towards our code. Okay, uh, here you need to click on file and new. Oh, sorry, this is not the way. Okay, first you need to click on project and new microvision project. You should have to follow it from this point from the start. Here we will write keep it final. Uh, triple one okay this is our project name we will save it out we will write uh, here 89c51 microcontroller then we will press yes and yes okay and our project is created now we need to click on source group one and okay wait okay then add new item to group source one so we will click on assembly or dot asm file and we will uh, write the name as like uh, any alpha triple zero or anything like that we'll add it now we will go for options and here uh, you must need to follow this step to enable this create hex file or your hex file will not be created okay now i will paste my code here okay now this code has one lookup table which is going to, which is uh, just uh, going into the decrement pointer register and what uh, what this look lookup table is actually it is for to drive the output of the seven segment display okay then then this piece of code which is reverse to yeah uh, this one next fine 15 okay so this piece of code is to find that which key is being pressed like first it will it will see that 
like here in in that command it it says jump on bit p3.5 if there is one on p3.5 then we need to next find two okay then our control will move to that and then it will see that either uh, this column is uh, also high or not okay so there are four rows and four columns so we have like uh, we have around like here 15 yes 15 we have uh, sorry uh, we have 16 takes okay so they will find the right key which is being pressed okay so okay now we need to okay this coding file its downloading link will be given inside the description so you need to download it as well if you don't want to write it at your own okay so we need to click on right click on target and build target and source group one and build target now our keypad fin triple one will be the hex file name okay so we will double click on it we will go and we will go to pc and we will go to f and we will go to objects keep it fin triple one this is our hex file okay now you need to give it link and okay now we will write one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero if we want a c b a and d we can okay you can also write e and f as well so hopefully you got this concept that how we can interface a simple 4 cross 4 keypad with the 89c51 so thanks for visiting our channel